ya guys welcome back to Keko Channel balik lagi dengan gue Kenny dan seperti biasa kita bakal lanjutin lagi permainan playbook kita yang kemarin dimana kita udah tahu ya si Proska itu uh, bentukannya kayak apa <laughs> terus dia sebelumnya itu jadi apa gitu dan sekarang kita akan lanjutkan lagi permainan kita uh, dan ternyata ada yang white witch kalau misalnya kalian masih ingat itu kayaknya mau menghancurkan nih kita I don't know why dan ini kita udah masuk ke chapter 3 dan uh -huh. and what yeah. happened next and I decided to teach this chart a lesson well done Vasilisa I myself couldn't have done it better I remember my youth as a cold dune ah those were the days I got off easy you could say That's right, you very short. Go catch some mice. Let the charts catch them. It's not a job that befits a susetka. Proshka, can cats be used to break the seals in the book? Help me check, would you? All right, I'll catch some mice. It's not hard or anything. I'm not torturing you like your charts, after all. Well, it's time to deal with the next seal. The seal of the wolf. I was thinking about werewolves. I haven't heard about them in Uyezd for a long time. Proshka, can you turn into a wolf? Nah. Mm, that won't do. I need to think about this. Mm, in the meantime, go and deal with your business. Go visit your bethrout. It's time. I may come up with something. All right, Grandpa. All right, Grandpa. Ooh. All right. Kita berangkat, guys. Yes, it's good that I'm not one of those petty charts from hell. Work all day or curse people. That's like a kind of work too, right? I'm perfectly content lying here watching after the household. That's my thing. What should the Demovoi do if not prepare firewood? Lots of things. You haven't had a Susietka for a long time, so your roof caved in a bit. Sedge and other things grow in it. I wouldn't let it get this far. Well, I'll clean this place up when I have time. I'm still not settled in here. Maybe you could help my chores? Yeah, right. I have my paws full with matters of my own. Looking after the house, getting rid of the mice, putting out the fire. Yeah? You think that's enough work? I'd say so. How are you doing in Grandpa's bar? I'm doing fine here. I feel calmer, even. You don't have icons, and it's not like they used to have them in the church. And the corner over there reminds me of the old times. They used to keep food and the gods there. We'll talk later. Okay, gua lihat dulu ini kayaknya ada sesuatu yang kita ambil gua ambil dulu deh. Okay. Hey you, got faster, curse you. Been chewing at my scalpel for my life. I... Now let's get to work. So, Grandpa, the shorts listen to you. Of course. We've living together for so long. They still remember me. And they're quite scared of you. It's good that shorts help around the house, right? Well, uh, yes. Cutting firewood, that's nothing. Once I send them to plow the field, and they plowed the whole area through and through, the vacant areas, and the seeded plots too. They need lots of looking after. 
Still, they have their uses. Maybe I should look for wolves in the forest? What? No, we need evil spirits. Ordinary wolves won't do. I have an idea. Don't fret, we'll break this seal in time. How did you get that Isba, Grandpa? The Isba? I inherited it. The older ones eventually all moved away. Uh, some went away, some stayed in Dilgard. The house was left to me by my parents. It's old, like me. We don't have much time left. Soon we'll both go to the afterlife. I'm leaving this Isba to you. There's no one else. All right, Grandpa. I need to go. Kita ambil ambilin dulu herb herb yang ada kan lumayan ya kan. Reveal yourself, coffin lid, and fly open white shrouds and draw open sweet lips. Tell me, my darling, of your life there, and ask me of your life here. I've been living here, wandering from place to place. I've witnessed all kinds of grief. All kinds have I suffered. I saved a girl from Abanya. See, there's some good done with this knowledge. I saved another girl from the wretched claws of Avodinoy. I'll do anything to save you. Even if it means raising all the villages on Earth, my chorts will help us be together. Soon you'll be back, my darling. As soon as I break all the seals, and you, 
Teach me. Guide me, miserable orphan that I am. How to break all the seals of the book. And I will reach out my white hands and pull you from the other shore. <sighs> God bless, Yegor Yevlampovich, Vasilisa. Why isn't that groom with his bride? So, you're keeping your word, Nikolai? I told you I needed a bride, and with help from you and God, here we are. The wedding is close. I see you've covered yourselves, as is tradition. Yes, we needed to have this wedding as soon as possible, so that the Bonics wouldn't drag me back. I understand you have a lot to think about. Vasya, weddings are the least of your worries, but if you can't do it, no one can. You were the matchmaker for me and Nikolai, so you should stand as matchmaker by my side at the wedding. I have no time to give a dowry at a bachelorette party. Right, the week has passed. The Dao reappeared at my house, and what I lacked, the girls from our village helped out with. The main thing is you being my matchmaker. I can't. I have other business. It's all right, Vasya. You can go. We have some time. And when the wedding passes, a solution to a problem might reveal itself. You too, old Igor, come. You'll be our master of ceremonies. <laughs> Uh, what an honor! Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? Huh? Well, you taught Vasilisa and helped with the items for the bride. That's right. <laughs> well, um, you see, Vasya, <laughs> how can you say no? Who did you ask to be a best man? Vetka, the accordion player. He is an old friend of mine. Vetka? What curse can he help you with? How can we attend such a wedding, Grandpa? Stop it, Vasya. <laughs> Fetchka will manage. He's a jester, but he can. <laughs> Besides, we'll be there. We'll help with the evil spirits and cartoons. All right. But Fetchka needs looking mm. after, so he mm. won't curse the wedding himself. Thank you, Vasilisa. I brought a gift for you. I think you'll like it, and it should prove useful. We didn't come only because of the invitation. We need a nowhere's help. My future mother-in-law hired brewers to make beer. But they quit halfway through. They say demons chased them away. They're beside themselves with fear. We decided not to approach these demons without you. Maybe it's Bannik's trying to interfere with the wedding. You made a wise choice. Is the bright side brewing beer? We decided both sides will brew. The villagers are close to each other. In Pokcha, where my mother lives, there are some skilled brewers. We hired them. Father is long gone, after all. What are they saying about chorts? Some shadows are being noisy. Turning over tubs and what not. See, they're brewing the beer by the river. So I thought that the Abdiricha might reveal herself. When's the wedding day? Everyone is invited the day after tomorrow. First is the wedding day, and the next day we're going for a ceremony. Not everything is by the book, but you know how it is. All right, I'll help you. After all, the ceremony is incomplete without beer, and you have your whole life ahead of you. Well, uh, come the day after tomorrow, then, if I'm the master of ceremonies. See you soon. Lord be with you. Greetings. God bless. God bless? Uh, what brings you here, Your Honor? The stove flap is over there to your right. 
Alexander looks around. Grandpa, he's not here about that. He doesn't know these things either. And the matchmakers come without a groom. Hello, Vasilisa. I was in the area for business and decided to drop in. I mean, I think you'll also be interested in this case I have. They talk about you and your grandfather quite often. You remember that fired short that tortured the girl in Logova? There's a similar case in the village near Pakcha. It's called Severna Settlement. That's where I'm going to track this chort. So, Severna Settlement? You start treating them with your methods. Perhaps I'll drop by. Thank you. Till we meet again. Hold on. Uh, fancy some tea? Help me move the table first, would you? Table? N no time. My patients are waiting. Alexander hurriedly leaves your izba. It's getting dark. You keep the black book ready. Khaldun's often put their chorts by the roads, as you have already witnessed several times. Soon, you notice someone's burning eyes under the roots of an old fir tree.
Among the treetops, you notice a silent giant. His figure towers over the trees and sheds a dark shadow on the frozen road. You draw a sorceress barrier and prepare for a fight. When you raise your eyes from the ground, the shadow is nowhere to be found. Some time passes, but no one shows up. You find the Izba Alexander told you about without any difficulties and question the locals. As it turns out, the husband of the sick woman died recently. Your acquaintance is already here. Oh, apa ini? You open the chest and are hit with a foul stench. Inside lie everyday items of the woman and several linen sacks. It seems they are the source of the smell. Hmm. You wince in disgust. The sacks contain horse manure, wriggling with worms. These are the gifts of a demon. To cursed people, they seem like gold and prianix. Bed sheets and towels. Nothing of interest. Vasilisa, it's so good that you're here. Alexander coughs and glances at your book. Did you examine the sick woman? Yes. The case is indeed similar to that in the Logova village. The woman is weak, but it's not so bad as that time. It's still early. The demon only started coming to her. What is she saying about the chort? There was no mention of chorts. You think they're to blame? She says it's a simple fever. But the symptoms are rather strange. I thought it to be anemia and nervousness. She buried her husband not long ago. It seems strange because it's not a simple sickness. She can't tell because the demon has some power over her. What should we do? The snake doesn't appear often in the beginning. We'll have to make it. If she tells me about it, it will surely come. It's late. It will try to kill us. Uh, right? I won't stand in your way. Let me be. I need to rest. The fever won't let me be. They say you became a widow. Oh, Jesus Christ, may he rest in peace. Yes, he died, but I'm managing. Sometimes dead husbands come back from the afterlife. Have you heard of that? What kind of s story is that? That sort of thing never happens. Lord have mercy. Don't try to be cunning with me. I've seen all kinds of charts, and I can sense the walking dead from a mile away. Pooh, witch! What could you know about me and my Vasya? You know nothing. Maybe I'll be able to convince her if I pretend to be her acquaintance. So, what did her husband do? Perhaps he was a fisherman. Looks like it. There are fish traps in the corner. What do you mean? I know you through my godfather. He used to go fishing with Yovasili quite often. He won't be fishing any now. He's dead, I tell you. Go away. You and your groom let me rest. Mm, she still doesn't believe me. How can I convince her that everything's not so simple with her guest? Hmm. Chart wooden touch icon or wooden sit on the bed. Look, you even have an icon here. But the dead man still comes after you. What a silly thing. I don't understand anything. I know who is to blame for your sickness. If you want to live, you must tell me. All right, I'll tell you, but don't you tell anyone. My husband didn't die. He still visits me in the evenings. But he told me to keep quiet. People won't understand. You hear the sound of scattering sparks. A fire short, familiar to you, emerges from the stove and it immediately turns into a human. Again with your blood switch! 
Don't interfere with my business. You want to kill me? Didn't work out for you last time. Ha! Kill? <laughs> I have another purpose. You stopped me here, but I'll find other creatures. Not so fast. You can't hide from me in my yest. That may be so. That's why you will be there with my new friends. I won't be back here. A couple of chorts appear near him, while he himself turns into a fiery whirlwind and disappears into the chimney. You can catch up with that short if you don't spend time on these demons. But what will happen to the sick woman? You open the book and read the first Zagavar. Oh. <laughs> you defeated the Chorts, and the woman seems to be safe now. But how many souls will this fiery snake ruin? No one knows the answer to this question. You can only continue on your way. You notice the pale heads of the drowned, looking out of the water. They are almost certainly waiting for a careless victim to drag under. Realizing they were spotted, the undead lazily hide beneath the water. You hide nearby, and the drowners soon return to their spot. You open the book and read the first Zagavar. <laughs> Thank you. 
At the crossroads of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Despite the late hour, trading is still taking place. Perhaps you might buy something for your journey. A multitude of goods can be found. Prianix, as well as a variety of magic trinkets. There's something for everyone here. Hmm. The players are carried away by a game of Durak. That's back to the... You hear the lingering sounds of songs long known to you. At one of the Izbaz, you see a late-running Vichorka. It may be worth stopping to listen for a while. You sit by a house and dissolve in a deep song. Life goes on as usual in the sleepy Pakcha village. The peasants have returned from their work and fill the village with hearth fire glimmers shining from tall windows. The peasants answer your questions with enthusiasm when they learn that you are the knower matchmaker they have heard of. According to the villagers of Pakcha, they seldom encounter wonders in their mundane life. Everyone laughs at the men who were brewing beer, supposedly. They were so carried away with their work that they saw the devil himself. Mm. You whisper a prayer and catch your breath. You easily find the home of the peasants who brewed beer, but their izba looks empty. You look into the galbets and see a man who is putting crosses on vials and barrels. He jumps when you call out to him. Christ almighty, what are you scaring me for? I nearly died. I knocked, didn't you hear? I'm here about the wedding. They asked to bring beer. We couldn't cook the beer to the end, you understand? The bride is a chort in disguise, everyone knows that. So some of them sharp-tailed visited us. We barely managed to escape. With God's help, I'll bless the ingredients. We managed to brew the mash, then added hops to the cauldron. Everything with God's words, everything proper. A pound of hops and a pound of malt. And then a demon showed up. Lord of mercy! Tell me about the demon you saw. Someone cursed us. That must be it. Looked like a lump of meat that kept glaring at us. So we ran. Left everything there. We prepared part of it, but we're too scared to go there now. So you brewed everything by the book? Everything as it should be with prayers and according to the recipe. First, the girls came to us from the bright side. Tried to put out the fire. Then later, closer to the evening, a man came along. And at nightfall, it all began. The brides cursed, so the devil showed up. What man? I don't know. Didn't have the chance to look at him proper. He stood for some time in the distance, and then left. Did you brew by the river? Right. Wait, you're going there now? This late? You'll be killed! It's alright. I have God's word with me. The devil will have to retreat. Well, God be with you. Go to the east of the last Isba. You won't miss it. Yeah. 
It's quiet in the brewing area. Too quiet. You anxiously look around. Evil spirits definitely had something to do with this. Mm. This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. You can't light the fire. All the logs have burned, and there's no dry grass for a spark to take. Here is the firewood that the brewers prepared. You take some firewood. This cauldron is full of partially brewed beer. You feel an evil force hiding beneath the black surface. You roll back your sleeve and thrust your hand into the cauldron. But after a moment, jerk it out with a scream. Something bit you. This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. You add some firewood. Now you can light the fire. You can't light the fire. All the logs have burned and there's no dry grass for a spark to take. There's some dry grass around here. It can be used for kit. You take some dry grass. This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. You put some dry grass under the cauldron. Now it will be easier to light the fire. You light the fire and take a step back. A spirit shows itself above the cauldron for a moment, but it soon disappears beneath the oily froth of the beer. The fire is extinguished by the spilled beer. Could a larger fire expel the chort? This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. You light the fire. A spirit shows itself above the cauldron for a moment, but it soon disappears beneath the oily froth of the beer. The fire is extinguished by the spilled Here is the firewood that you take a greater amount of firewood. There's some dry grass around here. It can be used for kindling. This is where they light the fire for brewing beer. You add even more firewood. Now the fire will burn brighter than ever. You light the fire and take a step back. Oh. Yeah.
Oh yeah, akhirnya. The curse falls to the ground as a repulsive ball of foul-smelling wool. This chort was created by a Khaldun. But who would wish harm upon Nikolai? You send the brewers for the intact beer barrels and return to the Izba. Later, I called some men from Bakcha. After I chased away the chort, they took the barrels with the cooked beer. Everything that was left in the cauldron was gone. Ah, so much good beer wasted. Looks like some Kildun got involved. Looks like it. Well, they're lucky to have you as a matchmaker. You also keep your eyes peeled around, Nikolai. Who knows? I will. Many Kaldun's like to ruin weddings. You know how it is. Yes. And the guests are helpless. If you ruin a wedding, you can ruin the entire lives of the newlyweds. That's all right. Just be attentive. You will protect them. Right. I shouldn't expect any help from Fetka. We'll manage even without Fetka. All right. We need to go. Oke guys, jadi untuk part kali ini gue rasa gue cukup kan sampai di sini dulu. Dan kalau misalnya kalian suka dengan video game semacam ini, jangan lupa untuk subscribe, comment, share, dan juga like video game ini. Jangan lupa juga untuk bagikan teman-teman kalian buat yang suka sama visual novel horror. Karena menurut gue cocok banget kalau misalnya uh, mereka nonton video satu ini. Dan segini dulu aja. So, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, gamers.